The only thing my mother ever told me was that life is all about timing. And then she died. <laughs> While conceiving, our carcasses dropped from our eggs. A pregnancy she watched ooze from her belly to the grave beneath us. I spent my whole life wondering if I'd ever find the courage to leave my soil, if I was good enough, if I could scrape my wings against my back and, well, I mean, if I could, I'd probably stay beneath the grass atop this coffin I was born next to. I wish I had a box to die in. I wish I wasn't born an insect. I wish my parents decided to wait until after a funeral to conceive me. Why my parents decided to fuck in a cemetery, I'll never know. <laughs> Maybe it was to show me how they have ever born. From their parents' death, see, cicadas fucks to rest. I just hope my mate don't eat me. At least she's not supposed to. Spiders are fucked up. I heard they poo string and that's how they make homes. No wonder the kids grow up there in a web of shit just to realize their mother made this web completely out of the same shit their father died to become right as her date has her face millimeters in their exoskeleton. At least that's how I think it goes. It's weird knowing how your story's supposed to end. And shit, I... I called out of my plot yesterday to scrape my wings against my back to meet you. Hey, under this willow tree, seems like some humans watch. Wish I knew how to kiss you. At least we all die happy. At least we all die old. At least we're all supposed to. Half of us get streaked over Mack truck windows and the rest of us already came and went. And then there's me and you, too picky to realize that there's some shoe in some playground ready to turn us into paste on mistake. I, my parents decided to fuck on this tree branch for a reason. A gated community of a plethora of death threats and blooded shells we all crawled out of our pots alone. To scrape our wings to see if we were good enough to meet you. I must be. I hope you're a spider. I hope our kids grow up on my back and in your silk blanket long enough to appreciate the foundation we've laid for them. <laughs> <laughs> your eyes are so pretty. Like headlights. I'm a big truck. <laughs>